The Emmy Award-winning documentary filmmaker Lee Stanley produced and directed The Gridiron Gang. It's the true story of the Kilpatrick Mustangs, a juvenile prison football team, and their 1990 Cinderella season. Shoot somebody, I'll shoot him. I can't get in trouble. I put him under the back and I'll hurt him. I can't get in trouble. That's legal. When you dip, keep your head up. Okay? The dog's gonna break your neck. There you go. They would have killed me if I wouldn't have killed them first. I like to steal things from people. <laughs> Two, three, four. This is a home and school for losers, Camp Vernon Kilpatrick, a juvenile detention center for 13 to 18-year-old boys. I don't know if I want to go back to living in the fast lane, but then I don't know exactly how to start off straight, you know? I mean, I don't, I don't really, I'm not used to working from nine, nine to five or something like that. So I, I really, I just had a lot to think about before I leave. My name is Ross Masudi. I'm 17 years old. I'm locked up for three things. One for strong robbing, uh, one for kidnap for ransom, and one for uh, federal uh, burning uh, mailbox. Come on, hustle up. Come on, stop pouting. What happens if you don't practice here? kicked off. Don't play. I mean, how would you feel? I don't feel like being here today. Good or bad? Good. You feel good if I wasn't here? Yes, sir. You cop out, piece of cock out. You take an easy way. You just look for the easy way out, aren't you? Are you? What I want most of these kids on Friday night is that they perform well. My biggest fear is that they the anxiety gets to them, it holds them back, and they don't perform up to their capabilities, and they have regrets at the end of three hours. When it's all over, I don't want them to regret the hard work. Boron is 125 miles from Camp Kilpatrick, three hours across the desert and light years from anything the Mustangs have ever experienced. First time that most of them had taken responsibility for their lives and decided they wanted something better. They wanted to play and they wanted to win. In their very next game, they learned what happens when you don't give up. When you have a goal and go for it, they won. Then they won again and again and again. They won eight straight football games. At the end of the regular season, when the league coaches picked the All-Star team, Michael Black was named Player of the Year, Bobby Wilson was named Defensive Player of the Year, 18 Mustangs made the All-Star roster, and Sean Porter was named Coach of the Year. Every kid on the team felt like a winner. At the quarterfinals, the Mustangs defeated the number two ranked team in the division. In the semifinals, the Mustangs' defense dominated the game. And the Gridiron Gang found themselves in the finals, facing the division's number one team, Montclair Prep. Lee is best known for the documentary series, Desperate Passage. It's about violent juvenile prisoners who were released into Lee's custody for 10-day sea expeditions aboard the filmmaker's 58-foot sailboat. The series was nominated for 33 Emmys and won 13. Hollywood legends like Michael Landon, Louis Gossett Jr., and Edward James Olmos hosted the series.
You don't hear cries for help very often in detention camp. On the outs, as the prisoners call it, only victims cry for help. Inside the walls, it isn't macho. If you cry in here, you're a punk. The seven juveniles you're about to meet are locked up in the toughest detention camp in the largest judicial system in the world. Most of the boys have never been on a boat. They probably the think we're smuggling and stuff. To, they got to put some handcuffs in there. Take back to camp. Take you. Our crews might be short-lived here. I'm swimming. Pass me an air tank. And they come after me, I'm going down. Standing aboard Point Evans, it's an 82-foot coastal patrol boat, and we're home port in Alamitos Bay, California. Our biggest task uh, throughout the course of the year... The boys are treated like any other teenagers. Maybe better. And the authority figures are close to their own age. All the way as far south as Dana Point, which is all the way down past Laguna Beach and all the way up past Marina del Rey, up toward Point. At the end of day nine, the crew play a dispirited game of football on the beach. The joy is gone, and once again, the boys seem to be doing time, waiting for their release date. Suddenly, there is a problem. For no apparent reason, the boys begin to argue. Me, man. We, we talked to you that night. Right we here. met you somehow playing a game together. Oh, I'm gonna play with Brown. I didn't say that. Did, did, did he say you gonna lie for now? Did he say? I said I'm telling you. Play I'm trying to tell you what I said. I said I don't like playing with you. All right, and I said for what? Clue. No reason. No reason. I ain't done nothing to you, including you just don't want to play. That's right. You don't want to change, you know. I know I'm going to change myself. Thing. That's all no, I You can't say. tell me what I want to do. You can't tell me I ain't going to change. You haven't changed I can't change around you. you. You don't have to change for me or around me. All right, so then quit telling me I ain't going to change because I ain't going to change for you. Dear Lord, we thank you for this time. Lord, I thank you that Gary was man enough to, to cry out his hurts. And Lord, all this reminds me of is how confused we can get when we try to make it on our own or try to solve problems on our own. I pray we'd all quit playing games and putting up fronts like we're cool and got it together. And Lord, if I've ever realized anything, it's that we need one another. But more than that, we need you. Strengthen us, unite us, bind us together. We want to win. We're tired of following the loser. Help us, Lord. Amen. A study published by the Rand Corporation found that just to talk about rehabilitation with any degree of optimism or enthusiasm in the company of correction officials or workers is to be thought naive or hopelessly idealistic. Most attempts at intervention are doomed to failure. Nevertheless, the report concludes, one must try. 